What is going on y'all? Last time on this channel, I found out what a Tiengis is. It's like an open air market that a neighborhood will host once a week. And I discovered here in Mexico City, they actually have the biggest Tiengis in Latin America. So I'm on my way to check that out. Hopefully find some cool drip, such as this Lightning McQueen bleached tie-dye t-shirt, some stuff like that. This guy's waving at me. Hola amigo, que tal? <laughs> what nice people here in the metro station. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way to the Tiangi, so I'm pretty excited for that. All right, I'm gonna try to jump in a cab and hopefully get a good price, not a gringo price, because the market's not that far from here, but by walking it would be a little far. I didn't even need to get a cab. I'm trying not to get hit by a car, but I guess I'm here at the start of Tianguis. It's this one strip of tents, and it goes for miles or kilometers, depending where you are in the world. Let's check it out. Right away, I'm seeing some crazy drip in this place, like this. This guy is selling a pocket bike for 4,000, that's like 200 bucks. I wanted one of these so bad as a kid. I don't know if I could ride it at this age. Please. These socks certainly have drip. Lots and lots of drip. I like these Rugrats ones. I don't know if they would fit me, but I can always give them away. 20 fans. Disculpe, ¿cuánto cuesta? Ah. Hola. ¿Cuántas? Esas están en 20. 20? Sí, gracias. Muchas gracias. Ciao. Now that I see it, I also fancy Dragon Ball Z socks. Dragon Ball Z has a lot to, a lot of drip. Um, Rick and Morty X Supreme is always a classic knockoff collaboration. I love that too. The same stall also sells deodorant that looks like it fell off a truck. I don't know how they inquired that kind of stuff. It's up to speculation. Gracias, Joe. <laughs> Guys, if you ever come to a Mexican market, you can see these little, uh, little tianguis with all these toys on the floor everywhere you go. So whenever I first saw it, I was like, oh sick, like all this 90s nostalgia, but I've seen so much of it, it's crazy. So yeah, I, I encourage you to check it out for yourself. Classic. What? In cinco? Cinco para uno. Uh -huh. Cara. Okay. Dude, they got some fresh dripping stickers. Maybe something for my laptop would be cool. That's pretty hilarious. That's absolutely fire. Oh, Paw Patrol for sure. This, this also drips. Oh my gosh. Tienes mucho. Wow. 
Si te gusta alguno, lo puedo recortar. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this Sailor Moon. That is dripping and Powerpuff Girls. Yo mismo los hago. Mm. Quiero los tres. Claro que sí. Chiro. Gracias, mío. Right. Some dripping stickers for my computer. Nightmare Before Christmas. Swags out. It's 2022, guys. Cringe is cool. Muchas gracias. Ciao, amigo. This is absolutely lit. Street Frappuccinos. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Quiero una Frappuccino de Oreo. Oreo, porfa. Sí, sí. I was a little too eager. She's like, I got other things to do. Gracias. Gracias. Ciao. Look at that. Looks absolutely dripping. Hopefully this music is copyright free. I don't think the YouTube algorithm will pick it up. I don't know where they get off calling it a frappuccino. I don't know where the chino caffeinated part comes in, but I'm feeling it. These are quite nice. These are quite nice. Wow. Look at this Dragon Ball Z towel. Disculpe. ¿Cuánto vale este? 140. 140 no. Otra. Esta, 110. 120? 10. 110. Ooh, is it worth it? See, sí, quiero. That is a dripping towel and I came here for drip. I finally got some Dragon Ball Z drip. I've been looking for some good Dragon Ball Z drip, but I've been waiting to come across something I like. And I really like that towel. Which is gracias. Ciao. This guy's bao buns. Like from China. Hola, amigo. Tienes comida de China. Eres chi China? <laughs> ¿Cuál es mejor? Coco menta? <laughs> Pero no quiero menta ahora. Chocolate? Uh, Tienes algo con carne? Este y carne y cebolla. Quiero este. Gracias. <laughs> I'm buying Chinese food at a Mexican market. The guy didn't like to use his words. He just liked to point. No, gracias, chef. Ah, los dos. Los dos. I think he just takes it out of the steamer, to be honest. Nothing too crazy. Please, ladies. I'm literally feeling the steam from the tortillas. Gracias, amigo. All right, try to, time to critique his bow. It looks like you can get a tattoo here. I don't know, I just see a picture. Oh. <laughs> that guy said Blanco? I thought he was calling me out for being a white boy, but he was just talking about clothing. All right. Honestly, this is quite good. I can't complain about Mexican bow. They love BTS here. That's crazy, dude. It's like the last thing you expect at like a pop-up market is laptops and TVs. Look how much drip this has. It's a lot of drip. However, it's not my size. I would definitely be keen on a Baby Yoda shirt, but we gotta find one my size. Hola, amigo. 
guys have a lot of cool things. Oh, part of them. I love the diversity of beliefs you can purchase here. Santa Muerta, Jesus, Buddha, Hindu, Hindi. Um, Jesus Malverde. Desculpa. Como se diz este? Hindi, it's a. Anish. 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 I should really know that. We accept all forms of beliefs in this market. I love it. Oh, this is dope. Wow. Hi, Chita. Quanto costa este? En 250 cualquiera que te salga. Cara de 250. Okay. Gracias. This is pretty dripping. I reached the end of the market where it's all car parts now, so I have to turn back and go the other way to get to the start where I started. However, I'm still on a hunt for drip. I'd like to get a drip in t-shirt. Look, I don't like baseball at all, but these go pretty hard. Excuse me, amigo. ¿Cuántos son este? El jersey, Alonso. ¿Cuántos son en el jersey? 180. 180. ¿Cuánto gusta? What do you guys think? I need to see in a... I need to take a selfie. I don't, I don't know how it looks. Yeah. I'm thinking it drips pretty hard. I'm thinking I'm going to get it. Gracias, amigo. Es fresquecita. Ah, sí. Sí, yeah, sí. Bueno, gracias amigo. Muchas gracias. Chao. Chao. They also have some very hippie and psychedelic shirts there. Here's my philosophy when it comes to bootleg clothes. If I like the brand, if it's a brand I support, like I see a lot of bootleg Thrasher in vans, I won't buy it. I'll actually support Thrasher. If it's something like the New York Yankees, I don't care for baseball. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it because that, that jersey dripped, man. <laughs> Screaming children, video games, Santa Muertas, fun stuff. Some lingerie. Ooh, madre mia. I was spotted fresh drip. Dude, these guys just print like random photos on these shirts. Disculpe, puedo ver? Uh, sí, Michael Jackson y. Madonna. Madonna. Ah, uh, pero este es demasiado pequeño. ¿Tienes más grande? Grande? Grande. Madonna? Madonna and Michael Jackson? God, that has drip. Eso es uh, grande, ¿sí? Grande. Ah, sí. ¿Cuánto es? 150. 150. Pero es, la playera es de buena calidad. ¿Sí? I believe you. Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah, qui quiero probar. Sí, claro. I may have found the last drip of the night, guys. It's pretty dripping. Michael Jackson, Madonna. I'm not even a big Michael Jackson fan, but with Madonna, that's fire. Like the shirts. Yeah, the man. Shirts. Muy bien. Precious. Yeah, gracias. Me gusta Madonna mucho. <laughs> okay, ciao, amigo. If I'm being completely hummus, I think I'm completely dripped out for the day. I've gotten a lot of drip in this bag, spent just a bit of money, found some good deals. I'm going to go put on my Yankee shirt and I'm going to join my friend at a Carnaval party um, in like an hour or so. So hopefully the fresh drip I acquired is going to be really good with the chicas. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll close this one out from 
the world's largest tangies in Mexico City, or now it's known as the drip market of Mexico. All right, y'all, so long from the most dripping market in Mexico City. A ciao.